Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you want to create a worksheet that contains several sets of saved values that you can easily switch between to compare possible variations in projected data in a worksheet. In Excel you can save different sets of worksheet cell values as a scenario. Then you can switch between the saved scenarios to compare the potential outcomes. For example, if you wanted to create a worksheet that could be used to display different financial projections, you could create different scenarios to project different factors that might occur to change the worksheet results. You could create a worksheet that contains the current year's revenues, and then create additional scenarios based on that data that show a 5% increase, a 10% increase, or a 4% downturn. You can then switch between these different sets of data as needed. To create a scenario based on your current data, click the What If Analysis button that appears in the Forecast button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. Then select the Scenario Manager command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Scenario Manager dialog box. Click the Add button at the right side of this dialog box to open the Add Scenario dialog box. In the Add Scenario dialog box, type a name for the new scenario into the Scenario Name text box. Give it a name that describes which scenario you are modeling. Next, click into the Changing Cells text box. You can then select the cells within the worksheet that you want to change for the given scenario. You can select up to 32 different cells in the worksheet to change, which will allow you to create complex scenarios. You can type a comment about the scenario into the comment text box if desired. When you are ready to proceed, click OK. In the Scenario Values dialog box that appears, you enter the values for the selected variable cells in your worksheet. When you have the values that you want to show in the scenario entered, click OK. The new scenario will appear in the list of scenarios displayed within the Scenario Manager dialog box. To show a scenario that you have created, you must select the name of the scenario to view in the Scenario Manager and then click the Show button. The selected cell values in the worksheet will change to the values saved by the scenario. To close the Scenario Manager dialog box and view the changes, you can click the Close button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. It is important to note that if you want to show the data as it was in the worksheet before displaying the scenario, you may want to create a Current Values scenario in which you display the values as shown before applying scenarios. That way you can easily revert the data back to its original state. Otherwise, you will have to click Undo in the Quick Access toolbar to revert the data back to its original values. You can edit any scenarios that you have created to modify the variable values associated with each scenario. To do this, open the Scenario Manager dialog box again, and then select the name of the scenario to modify from the list shown. Then click the Edit button to open the Edit Scenario dialog box. Here you can edit any information shown, such as the scenario name or the changing cells that are listed. Then click the OK button and proceed to enter any new values that are needed. Then click OK when you are done to save the changed scenario. You can delete scenarios that you no longer need within the Scenario Manager dialog box as well. To do this, open the Scenario Manager dialog box and then select the name of the scenario that you want to delete. Then click the Delete button that appears at the right side of the Scenario Manager dialog box to remove it instantly. You can also import other scenarios from other worksheets and other workbooks into your current worksheet. However, this is only effective if the changing cells are the same in both worksheets. To merge scenarios, open the workbook from which you want to import the scenarios. Next, Open the worksheets into which you want to merge the scenarios. Open the Scenario Manager dialog box and then click the Merge button. This will display the Merge Scenarios dialog box. In the Merge Scenarios dialog box, you use the Book drop-down to select the workbook that contains the scenarios to import. You will then view all of the worksheets within the selected workbook. Click any worksheet name within the sheet list and a message will display at the bottom of the dialog box that tells you how many scenarios are attached to that worksheet. Select the worksheet that contains the scenarios that you want to import and then click OK to import them into the current worksheet. 
you can easily compare the different results of scenarios within a scenario report. This report will show the different scenarios in the current worksheet, the changing values in each, and the different results that they generate. This makes it easy to compare different projections. To create a scenario report, click the Summary button in the Scenario Manager dialog box. This will launch the Scenario Summary dialog box. Click the Option button that represents the type of report that you want to generate, Scenario Summary or Scenario Pivot Table Report. Next, click into the Result Cells text box and select the cells within the workbook whose values are changed by the different scenarios. When you're ready to create the selected report, click the OK button. The report will appear as a new worksheet in the workbook, which you can then click to view. In the Scenario Summary report, you will show the data displayed in an outlined format, which you can collapse and expand in order to compare the data. In the Scenario Pivot Table report, you will also view the same data, but it is laid out as a pivot table report which you can modify to compare the data as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.